product u plus v w that can be expressed as uh, a u plus v a w that is equal to a u plus a v a w then uh, a u a w plus a v a w and that can be expressed as inner product u w plus inner product v w so it satisfied all the four conditions and it's generated by this matrix 9004 so you can see what is our question so that u v 9 uh, inner product u v that is equal to 9 u 1 v 1 plus 4 u 2 v 2 is an inner product on r 2 so we already proved that this is inner product on r 2 and which is generated by 3002 so first we prove that this inner product 9 u 1 v 1 plus 4 u 2 v 2 is generated by <coughs> this matrix a 3002 right using this theorem and then we prove that this is our already a inner product because it satisfied all the conditions to become a inner product space okay and this is the final condition kuv that is equal to a ku dot av that is equal to kau dot av so k will be outside from the inner product because it's a constant so finally you will get k inner product uv so thus all the exams are satisfied hence the given formula defines an inner product on r2 the next question question 3a second part using gram smith process construct an orthonormal basis for r3 where basis is the set 2 1 3 1 2 3 1 1 1 uh, this question was asked in 5 marks so <coughs> in which case we have to use gram smith process uh, here we have three basis vectors of r3 right and to use gram smith process is basically for use to convert any basis vectors into a orthogonal basis vectors right orthogonal basis vectors means what uh, the dot product in means include an inner product in include an inner product we are using dot product so here we are definitely using included inner product that means our inner product is a dot product so orthogonal set of vectors means what the dot product of any two vector that is equal to zero if this condition uh, if this is satisfied then we can say that our set of vectors are orthogonal set of vectors but here we have to convert into a orthonormal basis vectors now orthonormal means what definitely it's orthogonal so that means what the dot product of any two vectors is equal to zero but not only a just this one condition should be satisfied another condition is norm of each vector is equal to one norm of each and every vector must be one so uh, first of all we are converting this three basis vectors into a orthogonal basis vectors and then we are converting that orthogonal basis vectors into a orthonormal basis vector just by dividing its norm okay that's just by dividing its norm so <coughs> here some formulas to convert any basis vectors into orthogonal basis vectors and that formulas uh, that method is known as gram smith process so first of all take uh, this three basis vectors call it u1 u2 u3 and then this is our v1 v1 is equal to u1 right v1 is equal to u1 and then find v2 so to find v2 here is our formula that is equal to u2 minus inner product u2 v1 upon norm v1 square into v1 and to find v3 this is our formula you can see v3 is equal to u3 minus inner product u3 v1 upon norm v1 square into v1 minus inner product u3 v2 upon norm v2 square into v2 so <coughs> using this formulas we can convert any basis vectors into a orthogonal basis vectors <coughs> so first of all we are starting with v1 v1 is equal to 2 1 3 norm v1 square is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 9 <coughs> right uh, the square of uh, each the sum of the square of each coordinates that is 4 plus 1 plus 9 <coughs> 
that is equal to 14 then to find v2 we need inner product u2 v1 so that's why first of all we find inner product u2 v1 that is inner product u2 v1 that means dot product of u2 and v1 so u2 is uh, <coughs> 1 2 3 right dot 2 1 3 so that is equal to 2 into 1 2 <coughs> plus 1 into 2 2 plus 3 into 3 9 so we get 13 now put the value in this formula where v2 is equal to u2 minus inner product u2 v1 upon norm v1 square into v1 so u2 is equal to 1 2 3 minus inner product u2 v1 <coughs> that is 13 upon 14 norm v1 square so 14 into 2 1 3 <coughs> so this simplification becomes 1 2 3 minus 13 into 2 26 by 14 then 13 by 14 and then 39 by 14 so here we get 1 2 3 minus 26 by 14 minus 13 by 14 39 by 14 uh, just simplification 1 minus 26 by 14 so basically you will get 14 minus 26 divided by 14 so that is minus 12 by 14 then 2 minus 13 by 14 you will get 28 minus 13 so that is 15 by 14 then 3 minus 39 by 14 so that is 42 minus 39 3 by 14 okay now in a product u3 v1 in a product u3 v1 because and in a product u3 v2 so this two in a product we are using to find v3 you can see this is our formula to find v3 so inner product u3 v1 that is equal to dot product of u3 and v1 so that is uh, u3 is 1 1 1 v1 is uh, 2 1 3 so <coughs> you will get 6 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6 inner product u3 v2 that is equal to 1 1 1 and then v2 is uh, minus 12 by 14 15 by 14 3 by 14 so that is equal to 3 by 7 minus 12 plus 15 plus 3 so 18 minus 12 6 by 14 so you will get 3 by 7 right now put all these values in this formula uh, norm v1 square definitely norm v1 square is uh, right 14 also we similarly we can find norm v2 square okay so put all these values in this formula v3 v3 is u3 minus inner product u3 v1 upon norm v1 square into v1 minus inner product u3 v2 upon norm v2 square into v2 so 1 1 1 minus 6 by 14 okay 6 by 14 into v1 v1 is uh, minus 12 by 14 15 by uh, sorry v1 is uh, 213 so 213 minus inner product u3 v2 that is 3 by 7 and norm v2 square that is 378 divided by 196 so in denominator we get 378 divided by 196 so 196 become a numerator and 378 become a denominator so here 196 divided by 378 and this is v2 right minus 12 by 14 15 by 14 3 by 14 <coughs> so finally you will get 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 v3 is 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3, 1 by 3. now this v1 v2 and v3 are orthogonal basis vectors this three are not ortho still this three vectors are not orthonormal basis vectors we have to convert this three orthogonal basis vectors into a orthonormal basis vectors just dividing by its norm right so here we have v1 v2 v3 which is v1 is 2 1 3 v2 is uh, minus 12 by you can see v2 is minus 12 by 14 
फिफ्टीन बाय फोर्टीन थ्री बाय फोर्टीन ओके एंड वी थ्री इज वन बाय थ्री वन बाय थ्री वन बाय थ्री सो द फाइनल ऑर्थोनॉर्मल बेजिस वैक्टर्स आर टू वन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट फोर्टीन देन माइनस ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट थ्री सेवेंटी एट एंड देन वन 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 डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री ओके सो दिस थ्री वैक्टर्स आर ऑर्थोनॉर्मल बेजिस वैक्टर्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन थ्री बी फर्स्ट पार्ट फाइंड एन एंगल बिटवीन टी एंड साइन टी फॉर वी इज एन इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस ऑफ ऑल कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन ऑन जीरो टू पाई विद द प्रोडक्ट डिफाइंड बाय इनर प्रोडक्ट एफ जी दैट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई एफ ऑफ टी g of t dt so here we take f of t is equal to t and g of t is equal to sin t right now <coughs> to find angle between two functions there is a one important theorem that cos theta is equal to inner product f g divided by norm f into norm g right here we have to use this formula so first of all we have to find inner product fg right using this definition then we have to find norm f we know that how we find norm f because norm f square is equal to inner product f with f similarly we can find norm g because norm g square is equal to inner product g with g so we find all this uh, <coughs> norm inner product fg norm f norm g and then put the values in this formula that cos theta is equal to inner product fg divided by norm f norm g okay so from that formula we get definitely theta is equal to cos inverse inner product fg divided by norm f into norm g so let's start to find first of all we find inner product fg that is 0 to pi t sin t dt because in a product fg is equal to integration from 0 to pi t into sin t dt because f of t is equal to t g of t is equal to sin t now uh, to find this value we are using this important theorem that we know that integration from 0 to a f of t dt that is equal to integration from 0 to a f of a minus t dt so instead of t we can put a minus t where a is a upper limit of the integration right so here we use that formula for the integration that uh, integration 0 to pi t sin t dt instead of that we get integration 0 to pi uh, instead of t we can put pi minus t sin pi minus t dt now that is equal to pi sin t now sin pi minus t right so pi minus t is in second quadrant and in second quadrant sin is a plus right that you should note that in the in unit circle the in the first quadrant all the functions are positive in the second quadrant only the sin and cosec right inverse of sin that two functions are positive then in the third quadrant tan and the inverse of tan that is cot that two functions are positive and the fourth quadrant cos and sec okay so you can see pi minus t is in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant sin is positive so that becomes sin t so finally we will get pi sin t minus t sin t and integration so pi is a constant you can uh, definitely take outside from the integration so pi into 0 to pi integration sin t dt minus integration 0 to pi t sin t dt okay and now this is exactly in a product fg you can see in a product fg is what integration from 0 to pi t sin t dt 
सो दिस इज एक्जैक्टली इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई टी साइन टी डी टी सो दिस टर्म ओके दिस टर्म बिकम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पार्ट एंड दैट इज टू इन अ प्रोडक्ट एफ जी दैट इज इक्वल टू पाई इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई साइन टी डी टी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन टी इज माइनस कॉस टी जीरो टू पाई पुट द वैल्यू पाई यू विल गेट माइनस कॉस पाई राइट माइनस माइनस कॉस जीरो सो दैट इज कॉस पाई इज माइनस वन सो वन प्लस वन यू विल गेट टू द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन इज टू एंड ऑलरेडी पाई इज आउटसाइड फ्रॉम द इंटीग्रेशन सो यू विल गेट टू पाई सो टू इन अ प्रोडक्ट एफ जी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई सो दैट्स वाई इन अ प्रोडक्ट एफ जी इज इक्वल टू पाई नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड नॉम एफ स्क्वायर नॉम एफ स्क्वायर इज इन अ प्रोडक्ट एफ विथ एफ राइट हियर दिस इज अ वन इन फॉर्मूला दैट नॉम एफ स्क्वायर इन जनरल नॉम यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू इन अ प्रोडक्ट यू विथ यू सो सिमिलरली नॉम एफ स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू इन अ प्रोडक्ट एफ विथ एफ दैट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई टी स्क्वायर डी टी ओके एंड वी नो दैट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टी स्क्वायर इज टी क्यूब बाई थ्री इंस्टेड ऑफ टी वेन वी पुट पाई एंड जीरो फाइनली यू विल गेट पाई रेस टू थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड नॉम जी स्क्वायर दैट इज इन अ प्रोडक्ट जी विथ जी दैट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई साइन स्क्वायर टी डी टी ओके नाउ साइन स्क्वायर टी वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन स्क्वायर टी सो डायरेक्टली वी कैन नॉट फाइंड सो दैट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ साइन स्क्वायर टी सो दैट इज वन माइनस कॉस टू टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू वन बाई टू विल बी आउटसाइड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन इज टी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस टू टी दैट इज साइन टू टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो फाइनली द आंसर इज पाई बाय टू यू कैन सी ओके सो कॉस टीटा इज इक्वल टू पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज इन अ प्रोडक्ट एफ जी दैट इज पाई नॉम एफ दैट इज नॉम एफ इज पाई इंटू रूट पाई डिवाइडेड बाई रूट थ्री सिमिलरली नॉम जी नॉम जी इज रूट पाई बाय रूट टू सो फाइनली वी गेट कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू